Hey, Chris, how are you today? What's going on? Nothing much, nothing much. So as I told you earlier, I just finished listening to But Here We Are, hey. which is your comedy album, which came out on March 8th. It came out on uh, March 8th. Yeah, it's Friday. Friday. Last yeah, Friday. Yeah, yeah. Big, um, big Friday for the kids. I enjoyed it a lot because I feel like your comedy comes from a very personal place. Um, yeah. The story about the passive aggressive flight attendant, uh, crackheads, you know, you name it. Um, but what I'm most interested in is, I guess I figured out through my research that you grew up in Chicago. Could you explain to me what that was like? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was uh, it was fun. It was hard. It was a little bit of everything for me because my family's from the south, from Mississippi, and so we were, we had these southern roots growing up. I was uh, born in St. Louis and we moved to Chicago because uh, my mom got a good job, and uh, and my dad was working at a bank on the south side, and then we went to school in the suburbs in Naperville, um, which was hard because I hated that area, uh, and they, they didn't really just, and the school system doesn't really know how to treat black kids well, so that so that was a little hard, uh, but I had a lot of cousins, and I had a lot of family that, were, that was in the city, so I was always trying to get to the city and run around with them, and so it, I got a good perspective of life just growing up there, and, and like, I mean, the food and, and playing sports, but the music and learning how to like write music, and, um, and, 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 and the comedy scene was what made me, me. But I got a lot of like um, my life and like how I view the world from from uh, from just all these little all these different areas and different people I had to deal with uh, growing up there. I've had like 50 jobs there, um, most of them at McDonald's. And uh, you worked at numerous McDonald's. Yo, yo, I worked at two of the same McDonald's um, three times, and but like for days at a time. I, I would have like jobs, like two or three jobs at a time, and I would always like. Anytime I would lose one, I was like, oh, I, I gotta keep more income coming in. So I would go and uh, I would go and like and like uh, try to get a job at McDonald's again, and then I would get another job because I was man. My dad was always always told us you gotta go and uh, you gotta you gotta have a job to get a better job, and that that was me. I was always trying to get the next best thing, and so I would always have these like multiple jobs out there in the city, and um, I mean Chicago's what kind of where I just found myself, found my voice, but. But it's also a city that's hard on you, especially if you live out in the burbs, because uh, they're very territorial about like where you're from, where, and I guess that's everywhere. We in New York, I mean, you from the Bronx for sure. Like y'all, you know, even even now when I live in Harlem, I'm like, yeah, I live in Harlem. Like where Harlem at the same? I'm like, yo, why you yelling at me, B? I was, I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm just living here, boy. <laughs> yeah. Um. So you spoke about Chicago, and I just wanted to know. Do you have a specific moment growing up there that influenced your trajectory as a comedian? Yeah, uh, I was rapping for a long time, and I, and I felt like as a kid, you know, I went through insecurities and all that. So I, I wanted to prove myself to to my street friends that I that I had what it take to be out there, and, and I could build my life and then rap about it because that's the kind of rappers I loved. When I decided like to stop rapping and like try to figure out something else because I just felt like I was hitting a wall. Uh, this was like around twenty. 21, 22. Um, I really just started. I really started watching a lot of comedy. I was already buying a bunch of uh, like prior albums, and I've always been like, like I've, I've, just, I've always studied comedy and loved it, but I never saw it as like a thing to do. And then I saw um, an improv show in Chicago at like Second City, and I was like, man, I think I could probably do this. And so I went to classes there and and I O. Uh, Chicago, and I went into uh, Jokes and Notes, uh, ran by Mary Lindsay. It's not open anymore, but it's like a huge staple for a lot of black comics in Chicago. Uh, and I just started trying to go up and do, and do stand-up. I thought it was hilarious. My first set went great, which is a bad thing for me because the next uh, next hundred sets were bad. Uh, I was just one of those comics that had like a good set, and then it was just like chasing that set for a long time. Um, but it, but that's what, what that's what. That's what uh, started everything. Improv classes and stand up kind of like pushed me into it. I guess that makes sense. Rappers are kind of like improv artists. I feel like that's the same. I feel like I, I did, like a lot of it transcended because, like, and I was funny in my raps too. Like, I wasn't just like, you know what I mean, like dead serious. I was trying to, and I was, was trying to do a lot of gangster shit, but like, I would also do a lot of like weird, goofy, fun raps that people couldn't wrap their head around, but I was also trying not to be funny at the same time. And I think the only thing that makes it, makes it work at SNL was I've, I've been able to like embrace both sides of myself and not try to fight anything and be like, yo, just, you can just be as funny as you want, go as hard as you want and just like make something that's like truly me. 
So can you tell me why you named But Here We Are um, with that title? Yeah. yeah. Um, man, I was struggling with, with, with the title for a long time. And um, and, when, and and each one of, so I, I recorded five of those sets uh, to, to like figure out which one I was going to use for the album. And each time I started it different and I didn't really realize I was going to start it like that. And I was like, but but here we are. Now. And I didn't know how I was going to like jump into something else. Also, that's how I feel. That's how I felt when I, when I recorded the album. Like, um, there were so many things I wanted to do with it. Like, I wanted to add a song to it, like a, like a funny song to it at the end. I just, there's, there's like a lot of different things I wanted to do, but, and I took a break from it and it came back. And I felt like just in my, in my, in that moment, I was just like, you know what, this is what I got. I'm really happy with this. Here we are. Let's just make this, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's just make this, let's just put this out and, 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 and let the people know, like, where I was at that moment. And that's kind of like how it felt, so. That's where it came from. It's just like I said it a couple times, and I was like, "Oh, that feels good." 